Hey everybody, this is 3.1 Triangle Basics. So this unit is all about triangles. Um, today we're going to be talking about just single triangles and what do we know about triangles and able to maybe solve some sides or angles. Alright, so the first thing we want to talk about the sum of the angles of a triangle. So what happens if we add the angles of a triangle? Okay, so here is a, here's four different triangles. They all have different angles. And what happens if we add them all up, like the three angles for each triangle, okay? So pause and give that a try if you can. Add those up, use your calculator, and see what you get. All right, so individually, if we do these, 45 plus 45 is 90, plus 90 would be 180, okay? 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. 29 plus 39 plus 112, guess what? 180. And if we add 79 plus 35 plus 66 would give us 180, okay? I guess I should put degrees on all of these since angles are measured in degrees, okay? So what do you notice? The sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. <clears throat> this is another way to kind of write this same sort of thing. If you have a triangle with, with um, vertexes of A, B, and C, then we could write down the measure, this is what this means, the measure of angle dot dot dot. Okay, so the measure of angle A, so this would be angle A, uh, plus the measure of angle B, plus the measure of angle C, would give us 180 degrees, okay? <clears throat> All right, so using that information, we'll, we'll be able to solve for an angle or for a variable, okay? So given that the angles of a triangle add to 180, solve for x. So here are four different examples. They all look a little bit different, but they all, the thing, the thing that we need to know is that if we add everything up in that triangle, if we add all those angles, it'll give us 180. So we can solve for x. So here we've got 50 plus 70 plus x has got to be equal to 180 degrees. So then we use what we learned in our last unit to solve for x. Um, when we solve equations, usually we, if there's any parentheses, we'll need to take care of that first. Um, I don't think you're ever going to have parentheses in this unit, but, well, maybe you will, but not today, okay? Um, next, you would say is maybe we can combine like terms on the left side and on the right side separately. So here we could combine those to give us, what, 120 plus x equals 180. And then the last step that we need to do to get x by itself is to subtract 120. So this is a positive 120, so to cancel it out or to remove it would be to do its opposite, is to subtract. So x equals um, 60. All right, so let's look at B. You're welcome to pause at any moment and do any of these problems to give yourself some practice. It'll help you more if you will do that. All right, but here, same sort of thing. We need to remember, though, what does this symbol mean? So this is a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. All right, so then we could do something like 90 plus 40 plus 57 plus X has got to be equal to 180. So again, we combine like terms, <clears throat> okay? And I think you end up getting 187 plus x equals 180, and then same sort of thing, we would subtract 187. So x is equal to negative 7, okay? So um, you might be like, what? We can't have angles that are negative, okay? But the thing is, is that x isn't the angle. If we were to plug this in for x, would get 57 minus 7, so your, act, your angle actually is 50, okay? 
which makes sense because 50 plus 40 is 90, and 90 plus 90 is 180. Okay? All right, here's two more. Again, feel free to pause and give it a try, but same sort of thing. So we've got 80 plus 52 plus X plus X plus 52 is equal to 180. Again, first thing you'll always want to do is combine like terms. So here are all um, constants. So we can add those all up. Okay. Um, I think that gives you 184. And then we also have, um, you know, a different color, we have x's. So x plus x is 2x. Okay, so again, we want to get x by itself. We get rid of, we do add it, we add our subtract first, so we would subtract 184. So we get 2x is equal to negative 4, and then 2 is being multiplied by x, so we'll divide, opposite of multiplication, division, and we get x equals 2, negative 2, sorry. Alright, last but not least, again we will add these up, so 47 plus 85 plus 24x has got to be equal to 180. Combine like terms, so um, 132, I think. Again, you're welcome to use a calculator to add things up. All right, and then we will do the same, same steps. 132, subtract from both sides. So 24x has got to be equal to um, 48. And then we'll just divide both sides by that 24. So again, it's a lot like what we did last time, except all of the steps are kind of like the same. So we just set them equal to 180, combine like terms. Um, we'll end up most likely adding or subtracting to both sides and then dividing both sides. Okay, so that's what we do if we have a problem and they're asking us to solve just an angle and we're given information for basically we have stuff for every angle okay and we just add them all up set them equal to 180 all right the other half of our lesson is special triangles so we have properties of isosceles triangles and equilateral triangles so isosceles triangles have two congruent sides Okay, congruent, congruent is just basically the same as equal, okay, so equal sides, they're the same length, um, and then also the angles that are opposite of those sides, so across or opposite of that side is a congruent angle, and then we could do it to the other congruent, across from that other congruent side would be this angle. Okay, so it's never the angle that's, that shares both those congruent sides, so it's never here, okay? All right, <clears throat> so we'll need to remember that when we come into some of the problems. We won't, sometimes we won't have enough to add up to 180, but if we know that we have two congruent sides and two congruent angles, then we can oftentimes come up with our answer. Similarly with equilateral, the key here is equal, okay, all of the sides are congruent and all of the angles are all congruent, okay, okay, sometimes we say that it's equal angular, all of the angles are the same. All right, so let's do a few of these. So first off, these first three are all isosceles, as you notice that all of them have two either two congruent sides that are the same, so like here and here, or here and here, those are congruent sides, or B is we have two congruent angles. So typically, if you have that, you need to find basically, if you have the two sides, we'll need to figure out what are its, um, I'm gonna move that X, it should be more like up here, okay? Um, if we have two congruent sides, most likely we're going to need to find those congruent angles. 
So again, they're the ones that are across. So across from this side, here's a congruent angle. And across from this side, this is a congruent angle. Okay? So if they're congruent, what do we know about this angle? Well, it's got to be the same. It's got to be 33 degrees. So in this case, we have stuff for all three angles, whether it be a number or an X. So here we need to add up to 180. So 33 plus 33, oops, that does not look like a 3, plus X has got to be equal to 180 degrees. So 66 plus X is equal to 180. And then we'll subtract 66, and we get x is equal to 100 and 114 degrees, okay? So that's probably one of the trickier ones. You'll have one like that on your homework. Um, just kind of look at that, see what you know, figure out which, which angles are the same, okay? Here we have the two angles that are the same. You kind of have to go the opposite direction. This is a congruent side. And this is a congruent site. So basically it's saying that x is the same as 12. Okay, so x is equal to 12. Okay, it's as easy as that. We'll have something like that on your homework too. All right, and then this one, um, <clears throat> again, they tell us which sides are congruent, which means we know that this is a congruent angle. And across from there is a congruent angle. So we know that 73 is equal to negative 7 plus 8x. Okay? Please, when you do these, set up your equation. I know sometimes it's going to be tempting to you to just kind of do it in your head or just do it on a calculator. Um, please, I'm going to ask you to show your work, set up your equation, and then follow... Um, what we've done in the past to solve for x. So here we'd want to get rid of maybe the 7. So 80, oops, is equal to 8x. Oops, I messed that up, didn't I? 80 is equal to 8x. And then we just divide. So x is equal to 10. And it's not degrees, really. It's... It's just a value. Plug that in and you get your angle. Okay? All right, so those are isosceles. You'll have stuff like that similar on your homework. And then these ones I think are the easiest ones because we know that all, these are all equilateral, meaning we know that all the sides are the same and all their angles are the same. <clears throat> so for D, we know that that angle and that angle are the same. So we know that X has to be 60 degrees. Okay, here's another example. We know that 60 has got to be equal to 2x plus 10, and we'd want to solve for x. So maybe I'll just do it right here. We'll subtract 10, and we'll get 50 is equal to 2, uh, sorry, 2x. And then last step, to divide both sides by 2, we'd get x equals 25. Okay, again, you could plug that in here. You'd get 2 times 25 is 50, 50 plus 10 is 60, and that makes sense because all the angles of a triangle, of an equilateral are 60 degrees, okay? And then <clears throat> if you ever have sides that are outside, those, well, I guess I kind of said that already, numbers outside of a triangle are sides, numbers inside of a triangle are angles, so just keep that in mind. So one thing you should realize is that if you have sides, you can never add up to 180. Really, all we can say is that they are going to be equal to each other. We know they're equal because this is equilateral, so the sides are the same. So 6, actually, I'm just do it right here. 6 has got to be equal, so that's from here. 6 has got to be equal to 2x plus 22. So then we can just solve... Um, I think it's negative 14 equals 2x, and then we'll just divide both sides to give you x equals negative 7. Again, we could plug that negative 7 into here, 
and we'd get 6. Okay, so you can always check your work um, like that. Okay, so um, on your homework, again, you'll see that stuff. Um, one thing I just want to make sure you understand, this is not how it looks like on your on our notes, but basically this is just saying that A, this is the measure angle of A, A is x plus 70. So really what you could do if you wanted is you could get rid of that A and we could change it to be x plus 70. Okay, same here. We could get rid of that A and have it be 4x plus 11 and then just do the same problems, okay? Um, and that's about it, I think. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, 9 and 10, a lot of students have questions on those. Um, just kind of look at our notes. It's similar to what we did on our notes, okay? And then again, if you have sides, basically the sides have got to be equal to each other and just set them equal to each other and solve. All right? All right, we'll see you later.